Well, with Cade, you know, again, he's rookie of the year. I mean, there's not even close as far as talent evaluation. I've been in a long time, seen a long time players. The only thing they could hold against us is re a young team rebuilding. But talent wise, um, you know, he's the guy that can finish games for you. And that's what you need in those situations to finish games. And he's playing like a 10 year vet. So, you know, to get 12, I mean, 10 assists and 28 points um, is big time. And, um, you know, he uh, he deserves that. But again, he got us down the stretch. We was trying to go to him down the stretch, which, you know, um, we wanted to. We kind of got what we wanted down the stretch. But um, for me, he's 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 the rookie of the year, the, the, just the way he won the game for us tonight. Defensively, I know you had a, a game plan. We talked beforehand about how you're going to uh, try to bother Trey Young. I think you bothered him pretty good. Yeah. How pleased are you with, with the collective effort you guys had? It was a collective effort, you know, along with the switching. I thought Corey Joseph started it, uh, being a pest with him, staying connected, pursuing, as I mentioned before the game. Uh, and then also then Killian came in. I thought Killian had one of his better games, both offensively and defensively, attention to detail, staying connected to, to, uh, uh, to Young. And then also, you know, once we switched on him, Isaiah started it. And then, um, and then uh, Marvin came in and did a good job of switching out, using his length and size on him. So it was a collective effort, but uh, hats off to, to uh, Corey, Killian uh, in those situations. You said recently about you know, Isaiah Livers, even though we haven't seen a ton of him, you, know, you really like him. I know that. Uh, how much trust does it say in the other guys that are on the floor where it's like you don't even think about they know he's a shooter, shooter, shoot. And that's, that's, they know that from watching him every day. And yeah, that's what builds that trust. If he, without their clank him in practice, I promise you, they wouldn't <laughs> throw it to him. And so they see it just like I see it. And, uh, you know, he's a, one, he's an intelligent kid. He's smart. If he makes a mistake, it's a, a, a basketball mistake. He doesn't hit himself in the head. So, uh, but again, he's a big time shooter. And in this, in, in this day, as you saw tonight, uh, we won the three point line and that was that was a huge difference for us because they have a, a shoddy racer at the rim if you drive in there and you better be able to shoot the three either get through the rim or shoot the three and uh, I thought we did a good job of playing the analytical game tonight. I think your guys last nine games have decided by 10 or less points you guys are six and three in those I know. Still a young team, but are, are they growing up a little bit? Growing, uh, you know, they taking steps. We're not a finished product yet. We, uh, you can watch this game tonight, and there's a lot of, a lot of mistakes. Uh, you know, just young mistakes, and and again, they're growing and like the way we're playing. I wish this was back in November, but woulda, coulda, shoulda, and you know, but it takes time for guys to grow, and uh, hopefully this gets a a, a bounce step and a bounce into next year, and uh, really optimistic about the core group and. Um, you know, the way they're growing. Corey, a lot of guys can't seamlessly sort of fit between the second group and the starting group, but Marvin um, just didn't seem to lose a beat and maybe play with a little bit more bouncer step too, playing with that starting group. He did. Second he really did. And conditioning, I think, was, a, you know, he's probably going to sleep well tonight just because of how many minutes straight he played because of Isaiah's injury. But uh, he did a great job of commanding the boards and scoring when he had to, clear, cleaning up the offensive boards. Uh, and, and then again, like I said, he did an excellent job of getting out and switching out on Trey Young, which is not an easy task, and using his length. Um, but uh, really, really, he, and I said it, you know, last week, he is a, a great fit for us, you know, going forward. Good piece for us. Not that you want close wins, but to see this team uh, just be able to win these back and forth type games, that at once the idea that this team's figured something out in the last few weeks. Like I said, you know, Two, a month ago, two months ago, we'd have lost by 15. You know, I think he had us down 10. And, you know, we've, been, we've become resilient, trusting each other, trusting what we're doing defensively, trusting what we're doing offensively, trusting each other, trusting the pass. And uh, it, it's, it's a, you know, beautiful thing to see. That's why you coach, is to see guys grow. And, and the other beautiful thing is we got a great summer of work, a great fall of work next year, some additions, and uh, we'll, we'll be ready to take off a little bit. And as far as Cunningham, have you seen another rookie or even just play around his age that had that sense of the moment being able to? Like I said, I, I've been in a long time in college and pros, and he he has it and is that it factor late in the game. Uh, you know, he may kick it out once in a while, but most of the time he's going to get something good, whether it's a kick out, pass, or score. Um, and, and again, he's just scratching the surface in his game. But uh, he, for me, he's rookie of the year. You just take, you know, all the guys and put them in a 
uh, across the line and judge him, and he's going to win just because he has that it factor, that the feel of the game, the three point shooting. Uh, defensively, he's got to learn not to foul and keep his hand back, but he has all the other intangibles that you need to, to for a winning team. Thank you. Thank you.